Hello everyone, welcome to Addis Hat Gaming Time. Today we've got some stuff to talk about, um, big news, so that may be seen why there's not much, but yeah, here's the intro. So Battlefront 2, I was going to report on this like starting from Monday, but things happened and now we're here. So let's start off with general review. So an image got leaked. It did. Now, this is an image that's supposed to be looking like something that's coming from the in-game itself. And honestly, the lightsabers, the colours looks nice. It all looks good. I hope it's voiced by Matthew Wood because that would also be amazing. Um, yeah, that's general griefus for you. Including the emotes for Obi-Wan Kenobi, um, some more stuff got leaked on on Battlefront updates. Now, to this day, I can still not find it anywhere else. So I'm assuming that someone emailed him it, and it looks like that we may be getting the voice actor we want to voice Kenobi, James Arnold Taylor, but we'll see if those emotes ever do come out. I'll leave the Battlefront updates live stream that I found these on down below. And um, also some questions got asked if like for instance Kenobi Starfighter will that ever come and some info responded to that um, hopefully but sometime um, probably later. I, I wasn't really expecting any hero ships to come in within this time but I don't know maybe 2019 can be something for that. And that's all I've basically got for you guys when it comes to Battlefront. Two, um, I don't know if DICE is planning on releasing an image this week, I'm assuming they don't by the time I release this video, um, I'm guessing it's another week without any general grievous promotions or anything. I hope we do get something though. The strongest defense is a swift and decisive offense. Okay, so as I'm just filming this, I'm not too sure if you can hear noises in the background. I am. I do apologize for that. Seems like it's always noisy down this road, literally every time I try to film. I fucking hate these neighbors. Anyway, so a new Batman um, leak details got leaks from Reddit. Now, this apparently this is Reddit. Um, Walksteady's next project. So it's called Batman Arkham Universe and the whole entire Bat family will be there including Ding, um, Batwoman, um, Red Hood and then also Catwoman. Including thing that it will be more larger than the Arkham Knight Gotham that you got to see. Including that there will be multiplayer and single player and much much more that I'll leave another video detailing more this in detail but yeah this is something that we haven't really gotten any news about it but it's scheduled to be revealed on November 10th at the I'm just going to call it the Xbox experience now if you don't know PlayStation experience is not happening this year so it would kind of make sense for this to happen at this event if PlayStation experience is not happening in December I could definitely see the reasons why they're doing that, but again, we'll just see what happens on November 10th. If something ends up happening, if it does, if it doesn't, but honestly, I'm just gonna not. I don't think what Steady will be revealing anything within this year because they didn't reveal anything at GameStop or or e, or at E3. So again, don't get your hopes up. But for me, I don't think they're doing anything about it. This week, The Walking Dead final season got saved by Skybound. Now, from what I've learned, Skybound deals with most of The Walking Dead stuff they do. Now, they said that they'll be working on episode 3 and 4. Now, if you can't find any of the physical versions of The Walking Dead, well, for the UK in-game, The Walking Dead will be coming back to you the final season on the 11th of November. So, hopefully that's good news for you guys. Now, episode 3 and 4 have been delayed, but no release dates have been set out. The original release dates were for one in November, November 6th, and the other one being December something, I can't remember, but hopefully this is good news, I know some people will be mad, but again, this is good news because that means that 
we people who bought the Walking Dead final season basically means that they did not waste their money. And finally, if you're a fan of Borderlands, well, I've got some news for you. Borderlands 2 VR will be coming to you December 14th for PlayStation VR. Don't know about the other VR systems, but um, yeah, this has kind of got me interested into the Borderlands Telltale game and also the actual Borderlands stuff, so I might get into it, but we'll just have to wait and see. Thank you guys for watching, and also, no, there's no Life is Strange 2, Episode 2 news just yet, no release date has been announced, but we'll see what happens in December. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will all see you on the next one, and if this comes out on Friday, have a good weekend, and if not, have a good day.